What's up, broskies? It's PC Gaming XI here, giving you another tutorial on how to set up a bucket server. This is the simplest way to do it. There is going to be no problems whatsoever, and you really shouldn't get any errors. So I'm going to go off my video, you know, the craft bucket, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So let's begin. But actually, before we begin, please check out my Let's Plays after this um, video, and just drop some feedback for me please um, that would be really amazing and it would help me a lot so anyway let's begin so what you want to do is simple enough create a new folder on your desktop and just keep it simple guys server that's it keep it simple so then we'll start off link number one is java jre so you want to download it so 64 bit you download x64 and 32 bit you download x86 offline how do i know which your version of um Windows are on. Well, you go to start, uh, you go either here uh, for Windows 7 users, and you just type in dx diag like that, and then that should come up, load it up, and then look at operating system Windows 7 64 bit. 64 bit. Okay, so then what you want to do is click download on your version. I'm not going to do it because I've already done it. Make sure you accept, download, blah blah blah. Same with 32 bit, accept, download, blah blah blah. Okay, so we have Java installed. Next, we want to get the craft bucket. So you want to click this link. Very simple. And just click this big green button that says craft bucket recommended build. And download. I'm just going to keep it. Um, it's going to take a little while as my internet is very slow at the moment. Oh no, it's actually going pretty fast. No, still was well. Reason is I'm uploading and I've got Steam open. So anyway, we're just going to prepare, I'm just going to open up my server file and just get ready for it, really. So once this is downloaded, what you really want to do is just drag it into your server folder. So you want to go into your downloads or wherever you saved it. Mine's automatically saved to my downloads, so I'm just going to drag it from there because I'm on uh, Windows 7. Um, so I'm just going to drag the version on, sorry. There we go. There it is. So you should, like, it should say craft bucket. Dash 1.2.5 dash R.0. Okay, so this works for any version of Bucket. Literally any version. So it could be 1.2.6 by the time you watch this video. All I'm going to do is update the title and the links for you guys. So this will work on any version. Just follow the same steps, but just ignore that it's 1.2.5. Okay? So next, we've got that in there. So what do we do with it? We just leave it. Just leave it alone. Don't touch it. Don't even double click it. If you've already double clicked it, what you want to do is just go to task manager if you've double clicked it and just look for java and end it okay so next what you want to do is get the code so before we can even put the code in you know because it's not really going to work in there what you want to do is right click new text document it doesn't need naming guys it's going to get deleted anyway so just leave it as that so open it up so it should look like this blah 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 you can type into it okay so what you want to do is copy this code here where it says Java 7 because that's the version I've told you to get. So you want to copy like that and just paste it in like that. So it should look a bit like this. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Pretty simple really. So if you want the 32-bit version, which I've told you, what you want to do is put bracket x86 bracket. If you're on the 32-bit, if you're on the 64-bit, yeah, just leave that blank. Just don't even bother with it. So that's what should happen. But if that doesn't work for you and you still get an error at the end, uh, halfway through this video, then what you do is just rewind this video back here and just change it. So if you're so it's originally program files, what you want to do is put just that, aka six, and then carry on with the rest of the video. Or if you're on, if your version is the x86 version and it still doesn't work, then you want to take that off and just leave it as program files. Pretty simple. So what you do is file, save as, and you want to save it as, oh I don't know, we'll just keep it simple, server, dot, bat, if you don't have the dot bat at the end of it, it won't work at all, you know, just be a text document and your server will never run. So what you want to do is just save that, and then we can close this. So to run your server, you just right click and run as administrator, if you don't have that, then just double click it, simple. Okay, so you're going to get this error. It's going to say, unable to access jar file craft bucket dot jar. Please press any key to continue, blah, blah, blah. Just press any key. Okay. So now you want to go back in your code. 
Okay, so you want to go edit. Right, and as you can see here, you've got craft bucket dot jar. You want to do is just highlight that, and then you want to right click the craft bucket version that you have. So right click rename. It should be highlighted like so. Copy it. You simply copy the name, and then just paste it over craft bucket. Don't be going all the way up here to that. Just craft bucket. So just paste paste it over, and you should look a bit like that. And then just click simply save. So now you shouldn't get any errors whatsoever. So you're going to get a load of failed, 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 blah, 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 blah. That's because it's creating it all. It's new to the server. Okay, so you've got this error. Hold on. Just, let me just create the error. Okay, unable to fail to bind to port. Already running on that port, perhaps? That's more than likely because you've done this. You've double-clicked that. So what you want to do is go into your task manager and just end everything called Java or Java W. So you just want to end process and then just to finally double click the server.bat and then it will start doing this for you. So once you've done that, that is it, you've set up a server. Pretty simple really. What you want to do is just add yourself to the ops list. So I'll put my name there. I'm just going to save it. So once you've added yourself to the ops list, it's done. That's it, your server's set up. Okay, so now I'm going to do a few bug fixes for you guys. Okay, so we've got the first one which was this one. So you've done that one by accident and then you double click server and you get so terminal errors, like so. Start, task manager, Java, end. You know, for Java again. If there's no more, that's it, you've done it. So you've ended your Java's. Now you start your server back up. As you see, it now works. So I'm trying to think of some more errors that you're going to get. Okay, um, path not specified. That's because you've not installed either Java JRing at all. Or, you know, you've not done your code correctly. So check your code. So for starters. So it's path not specified. Okay. So first thing you want to do is edit your code. So if yours is program files like mine and you're still getting path specified, you want to just put bracket x86 bracket. If yours already looks like that, then you just want to remove that. And then just save it. Pretty simple. And they're really all the errors you're going to get, guys. They're just easy to fix, easy to replace, and, well, yeah, just in general easy to fix and it's not really complicated so to join your server what you want to do is load up minecraft add a server and when it says the server IP what you're gonna put is either one of the following options so in the server port you're gonna put local host like so dot two five five six five or your local IP don't the reason most use can't connect to your server if you're having that problem is because you're using your external IP so you don't want to be using this IP you don't want to be using that IP don't try and connect to your own server with that IP that's what you give your friends if you've port forwarded if you've port forwarded if you're using Hamachi then you give them your Hamachi ID and the login details and stuff like that for their Hamachi so don't be using that to connect to your own server that is an external IP and you won't connect to your own server at all okay so if anyone, see if you've got a brother or sister who plays Minecraft with you on, you, and you want to set up a server between you, how does he connect? Well, he just connects the same way as you, localhost R25565, because he's in the same area, he's in the same house, same network, so it doesn't really change. So that's really it, guys. Um, I'm just going to do a quick uh, run-through of the pre-made servers that will be in the description as well. Simply download them, they'll look a bit like this, probably without these. It'll look a bit like this without this. What I do is just run it. If you get an error saying blah 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 blah, path not specified, and download the other version, path not specified, get Java JRE. Just just get that and install it, and then try the versions again. Um, what you want to do is once you download it, you want to just extract them. How do you extract them? Right click on them, like that. You just right click on the file, and then you should have an extract option here or unzip of some sort. So that's really it. So that is honestly what you got to do on. Uh, Minecraft, that is it. Pretty simple, it's not really that difficult. So, anyway, I hope this tutorial helps you guys, and I hope you don't get any errors from this. Like I said, um, don't forget to check out my other Let's Plays. Links will be in the description to these and my Let's Plays. So, anyway, thank you for watching, and I hope this tutorial helped. <laughs>